Welcome back to another tutorial by ITC, Computer and IT Solutions in Austin, Texas. My name is Eric, and today's tutorial will be on user accounts, account management in Mac, Apple Mac OS X Mountain Lion. So, let's begin. A couple things I'll be talking about today are, a few things I'll be talking about today are user accounts, account explanation, and parental controls. Now these are kind of the essentials to creating and managing users on your new Apple computer. Now to get into the user um, account management or to create new users, the first thing you have to do is access system preferences. Now if you're new to Mac, you probably don't know where this is yet, but I'll show you, it's quite easy. To access system pref preferences, you want to click on the Apple icon at the top left of your computer, located here. Now you want to just move your mouse down to System Preferences, preferences and click Again. Okay, now under the heading System, click on Users and Groups. Okay. So in users and groups, here's where you can create new users, delete users, manage those users, change your password, etc. You can basically do anything in that has to do with user management on a Mac, Apple computer, you do it here. Now if you're familiar with user management on a Windows computer, think of the same, the same rules apply here. You're creating users, you're creating a standard accounts, administrator accounts, uh, accounts that have access to some files, folders, programs, uh, Here's where you can do that in user management, similar to Windows. Of course, the interface, the, what you're looking at is a lot different and it's foreign to you, but um, let's, don't be afraid. This is very easy and, and it's easy to get used to. So let's begin and let's get, so let's get started with creating a new user. Now, in order to create a new user, you first have to unlock the... Uh, you have to unlock the settings in order for it to allow you to create a user. And this is kind of like a safety feature. So just click on the lock icon located here at the bottom left. And it's going to ask you for your password. Now if you set this Mac up yourself, this is the password that you use when during the setup of the Mac. So I'm going to type my password in. Perfect. So now you'll see that that once locked icon is now unlocked. So let's start off by creating a new user. And to create a new user, you would just go to the bottom left here and hover over the plus icon and click add a user account. Great. So I want to go over just briefly uh, given an explanation as to what different accounts there are, right? And the three, uh, or I'm sorry, the two I'll be talking about today are the, probably the only two you'll ever use, which is the administrator account and the standard, uh, standard account. Now, what's the difference? An administrator account is someone that has full access and control of this system. This is a user that will be able to add or remove applica applications, add and create, uh, or, or delete users themselves, completely have... Um, unauthorized access, or I'm sorry, completely have uh, exclusive access to the system, being able to do whatever they wish and would like to do on the computer. Now, if this is your computer and you're going to be sharing this computer, or if it's a family computer, personally, it's up to you what kind of users do you want to create. I would create one administrator and several standard users. Now, in this tutorial, uh, I will show you how to create a standard user. Now, that brings up the question, what is a standard user? A standard user is someone that will have access to the system, but they'll be limited as to what they can and can't do on the computer. For instance, a standard user will not be able to install an application without the administrator's password. The administrator would have to give access or authorize that user to be able to install applications or access specific applications. It's good if you have a family or maybe people that you don't want to have full exclusive access to the computer, you probably want to set them up with standard, uh, standard accounts. So I'm going to select a standard account and go ahead and just type in my full name. In this case, I'll put just this testing fake name. The account name is named there, testing. If I named it John Doe, this should so John Doe. But you want to just put whatever you'd like in here. 
password, again, that's up to you. You can set that password to whatever you'd like. And then once you're all finished create, uh, completing all fields, you want to click on Create User down here in the bottom right. Great. User's been created. Looks like that's all been set up. To change the user's picture, you want to just select the picture here where the little parrot is, and it'll have a drop down with several different pictures that you can select from. Um, they have everything from a basketball to an eight ball, bowling ball, and pins. It's up to your choice, uh, whatever you'd like to select. Zebra. I'll in this tutorial, I'll just choose. I'll choose the penguin. Now the Apple ID. If you click that, that will basically set up the um, the syncing services to Apple's cloud services. Uh, if they have an iTunes account, it'll sync that user with that iTunes account. You can put the Apple ID in there in order to have that Apple ID attached to that user. If you don't have one, you would just create an Apple ID. I'm not going to do that in this tutorial, though. Down here in the bottom, you can select the user to administer this computer. In this case, it's a standard user, so I probably don't want them doing that. If it's a child account, I probably would like to set up parental controls. And the way I would do that is select Enable Parental Controls, and then click on Open Parental Controls to manage the parental controls aspect of that user. You can use Simple Finder, which provides a simplified view of the computer desktop for young or inexperienced users. This is good for children that are just getting to learn Macs. You can limit application use. If you have a specific application or a work-specific application on the computer that you probably don't want them or need them using, you can just block that use altogether. And the way you'll do that is just select Limit Applications, find the application in the application list, and just deselect it. You can do the same thing with widgets if you don't think that they'll need access to stocks or a unit converter, converter or whether you can just deselect those widgets as well. You can select the user to modify the dock if you don't want them to be able to modify the dock, which is down here. You can deselect that. You can select web and you can basically, uh, this will allow you to access, um, be able to set what you want them or should let them see on the net. Uh, in this case, if you want to allow access to only specific sites, you would just select down here and list those specific sites. You can deselect or remove a site from this list by selecting a site and hitting the minus sign. If you wanted to add a site to this list, you would hit the plus sign, add bookmark, Website title, I will just use ours. Once you type the address in, just hit OK, and you'll see the site pop up right here. If you click on people, the very top, you can select or deselect allow joining Game Center multiplayer games. Game Center is an app on the Mac computer that will allow people to play multiplayer games with other people on the net. You can select or deselect that functionality, that feature, I'm sorry. You can allow adding Game Center friends if you don't want them adding friends or joining matches or, or uh, socializing in that gaming center, you can deselect that as well. You can set specific time limits, which is very interesting. On the weekday time limits, you can limit the computer use to, say, two and a half or two hours a day. Weekend time limits, you can set that to, let's say, four hours a day. The really neat part about it is you have a bedtime set. And that time set, you can basically set when you want the computer to be or not be in use. In this case, I can do school nights and set that from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. So the computer will not be able to be used during that time with that user account. On the weekend, same thing, I can go ahead and edit that time as well. Now under Other, this just has a couple more features that you can either enable or disable. Disables use of dictation, hide profanity in dictionary, etc. You can go through that here. So basically in this tutorial, I've showed you how to create a new user. 
I've explained the different user account types, administrator and standard. We created a standard user and we set some parental controls for that user. I explained briefly of the parental controls and I uh, showed you how to set up specific parental controls. To delete a user, you want to go back into users and groups, select the user you've just created, hit the minus sign. It's going to ask if you want to save the home folder. I've literally done nothing on this user, so I feel comfortable to say let's delete the whole user and the home folder. Once you select that, click on delete user, and they're gone. So again, this was a tutorial by ITC. We're a computer and IT solutions company in Austin, Texas. My name is Eric. If you guys have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comments section of youtube.com forward slash IT conflict. Check us out on Facebook. That's facebook.com forward slash IT conflict or on our website, www.itconflict.com. Thanks for watching.